Hi there and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm glad you can join us. This video is a continuation of our Boeing 747 artificial reef project. In this video we're going to take a look at the removal of the engines and the landing gear. I hope you enjoy it and find it interesting. So this particular 747 was equipped with four engines. Uh, they were the Rolls-Royce RB211 engines, um, which are different from some of the other 747-200 series engines who had the option to have either Pratt & Whitney or General Electric engine fitted with them. So each of the four engines was removed using uh, gantries and uh, racks um, that allow us to lift each corner of the engine and each corner of the engine needs to be lifted with the same amount of pressure. So the whole engine gets lifted while it's in an engine stand, gets lifted from the engine pylon and then gets uh, settled nice and slow onto the ground. These four engines uh, were removed, uh, shipped over to the US where they were reconditioned, recertified and sold to customers who needed replacement engines on their aircraft. So this is where the landing gear used to go and this is where the wheels tucked up into when they were retracted. Um, this is, these are the places we're going to use to attach foundation points which are going to attach the aircraft to, um, to the seabed floor. So these are some of the landing gear. Um, this particular one is from the nose gear, the, um, the, the two wheels at the front of the airplane. Uh, these ones in the background are from the main gear. They sit under, under the aircraft, under its belly. I guess they're the kind of middle inside wheels. And these are the ones that, they're the outboard. They're the ones that are positioned a little more outside, not in the middle of the aircraft, but to the left to the right. These have been removed, and um, some of the spare parts are gonna go for sale. It's, um, they're not, not tremendously heavy. It's pretty easy to move. So the aircraft is sitting on jacks, so they don't, we don't need these, and we don't want them on the dive set anyway. And this is just some of the stuff that's been removed the aircraft. Some of the stuff that we just don't need, it just adds extra weight unnecessarily. Some flap mechanisms, worm gears. Uh, the flaps and the slats that you see here and the trailing edges, these will be reinstalled back into the aircraft, back onto the wings. Uh, we'll be transporting those inside the aircraft while it goes on the barge because that's what uh, gives the wing its, its complete look. So you have a, a consistent trailing edge of the wing. It's nice and smooth, and the front of the wing as well. Uh, some of the other stuff we got kicking around here, this is some parts of the interior that uh, we didn't move from the first pass. Just some wiring, cables, some aluminum structures, um, just some general scrap, some air vents, some hot air returns, uh, some pipes, lines, connectors, instrumentation, in total, there was about uh, 20 tons of stuff removed, not just here, but in the, uh, in the original dismantling. Um, that's back to the aircraft now. You'll see it's up on jacks. And the trailer is just gonna come in, take a position underneath the middle of the aircraft. The aircraft will be lowered onto the trailer and it's gonna be pulled backwards. So it'll go out tail first. So it'll go down the road, tail first. We're leaving the wings of the stabilizers, horizontal and vertical stabilizers on the aircraft. because it'll be high enough to go over any obstructions that we locate on the route. And it'll go right in the barge like this. We're gonna try roll on the aircraft, roll it on the barge with, um, on its trailer. And we're fashioning some ramps that when we get to DRL Maharak, we're just gonna be able to roll the aircraft uh, from the barge onto the reassembly site and we'll do the same with the wings. The wings are just going to be lifted onto trailers, they're going to lie flat on some tires, other bushings, then lashed down. Um, and all of this, all wings and fuselage, are going to be lifted over the airport fence onto trailers for the, uh, for the move to the port. Thanks for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video and thought it was interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all the latest videos about this project and other interesting stuff we do. Thanks again.